What's up guys? It's Coach Jay. And Coach Amanda. Happy to see you guys. Hope you are staying safe and active. We're coming to you again with another at home wad. Uh, I hope you guys are keeping up with the announcements that we had yesterday for the virtual run and all the ways that you can log that information. Yeah, so you can use Strava, Map My Run, Nike, again, whatever you guys want to use, just make sure you're tagging this. Remember, it. it ends April 1st, which is next Wednesday. So get those miles in. All right, guys, today for Wednesday, we have a five round workout for you with a 20 minute cap. So we've got a 400 meter run. There's a little asterisk here. So that means that there's something in there if you can't get that run in. We've got 20 lateral lunges, 20 sit-ups, five wall walks, because we don't want you to break your wall, or 10 burpees. The asterisk guys down here, if you can't go for a run, you can always sub in two minutes of high knees. So let's break this down as fast as we can. 400 meter run, either try to get it in outside, around your house in the backyard. You got a treadmill, use a treadmill. Treadmill, do all those things. If not, no problem, sub in two minutes of high knees. Amanda's gonna show us what that looks like. Get those knees up high, stay nice and active. So no lazy high knees, don't just, exactly. you know, this is not a 400, you guys. Don't cheat yourself. Right after that, we're going into 20 lateral lunges. So Amanda's gonna go ahead and step out. And we're looking for depth here, depth on each single lunge while still maintaining that core and that upright position. After that, some sit-ups. We've got 20 of those. If you happen to have an ab mat at home or a pillow, or a pillow extend back, touch those toes, extend back, touching those toes. After that, we've got some wall walks. If you can, find a nice spot in your house. Don't break your walls. Amanda's gonna start on the floor in that push-up position. She's gonna start with her legs. They're going to climb. And the goal is to get as close to the wall on your stomach and then doing the reverse, making sure you walk down, don't stub those toes into that flat position. Very, very nice. If you can't do the wall walks, that's okay. We've got burpees. You guys love burpees. Chest touches the floor, that nice hip up, jump every single time. Thank you, Amanda. You got it, guys. I hope that one is not going to be too tough for you. I know you can do it, but we're not done yet. It's not over yet. We're working on mobility, guys. Mobility is very key, and hopefully during this time at home, you guys can work on these stretches. Hold these stretches for as long as you can. Aim for a minute. The goal is two. Our first one is a couch stretch. Couch stretch, Once guys. Again, use a pillow, something, whatever you gotta use. Ugh, so you're gonna get your knee as close to the wall as possible. Bring that other leg up into a lunge position, and then come up, ideally touching your hands. But if you can't quite do that, just try to get in as much as possible. Okay, so it should be a minute on each side. Nice. After that, after that, we've got our pigeon stretch. So try to get your leg as much of a ninety as possible. If you can stay right here, that's fine. If you can lean forward, try to go for that. Chest ideally is getting as close to the ground as possible. Very, very nice. After that, we've got the dragon pose. So we're gonna lunge out as much as possible. And then again, trying to get our knees, or sorry, our knees, our elbows as close to the ground as possible. But if you can't quite do that, we're just looking for an elongated lunge. Very nice. We've got Cobra. <laughs> So start off in the push-up position, and you're just gonna push up, trying to, again, elongate your torso so that you're getting a nice abdominal stretch and stretching out your lower back. Very nice. And the last one, oh guys, <laughs> the twisted cross. Now this one, of course, is not for the faint of heart, it's not. but if you work on it, it'll get better and better. And Amanda's gonna show us what that okay. looks like. So whichever hand is gonna be flat or back, that same leg is coming up, and then your other hand is gonna come up to support or push you back into that position. So I'm just gonna show the opposite side. So this is a good shoulder stretch. If you can't quite do uh, your knee up all the way, you can kind of just throw it across as you see, but the goal is to get your leg flat on the ground. Very, very nice. All right, guys, remember to wash your hands, stay active. <laughs> I just looked at it. <laughs> Stay safe. We'll see you guys 
for tomorrow's workout. And please don't skip the mobility. Let's be honest, you need it. <laughs>